All right, in this tutorial, I want to show you how to get AVC HD uh, footage into Adobe Premiere Pro uh, CC 2015. So what you want to do first is that you want to go to your SD card when you put it in your computer. All right. And then what you don't want to do is do what I used to do is right click show package contents. Um, and then you do this and show package contents and uh, you look at the stream and you find these four files and drag those over. So that's what I did prior to this tutorial and I wanna make sure that you know that that is not the correct way to do it. What you wanna do is you wanna just copy the innermost folder here off your SD card called private and just drag it over here, okay? To a new, uh, a new folder on your hard drive. So I have a hard drive here, I have a project named and I'm just dragging it over here. So once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and open up the panel discussion, the project that I have, and I can eject the card because what happens is that you can actually be editing off an SD card and you don't wanna do that. You always wanna edit off of a hard drive or something like that. So what I'm suggesting to you, every time you do a new project, especially if it's a long project, so I do a lot of weddings and I do some things like that. So, but if the camera's running, continuously longer uh if the, if the camera's running too long put, uh maybe 20 minutes or, or more you want to make sure that you uh you want to make sure you do this method if it's under 10 minutes it doesn't really matter okay so this was the camera that was running for a, or a lot all right so we're going to go to my local drive my ssg work and then what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go ahead and look for the folder here it's called meet the funders then I'm gonna to go to private and once I go to private I go here and I'm just gonna click here hit import now if I make this bigger you can see there's AVC HD Panasonic the model all that stuff all right instead of having four so then I'm gonna see a button at the bottom that says conforming all right once it once it's coming in all right it's already conformed so it kind of came in already so you will see a button down here if if since mine already came in, it did that. So then what you're gonna see is this guy talking all the way down the panel discussion. So if I were to do this and hit new uh, folder, new sequence, I just drag that down here, new sequence, and I have my, so it's an hour and a half. So instead of having four different files, I have one large file here. It's conformed to it, and it's in Premiere Pro. Now, if you don't hear audio or anything like that, that means that it didn't conform correctly or you didn't record audio or something like that. But I just did it. And remember, it will take a little bit longer, and this was shorter because I did this earlier. But I just want to make sure you got this in Premiere Pro CC. So then I'm just going to drag the audio in. All right, so all I'm gonna do next is drag my audio in. I had a pluralize, but I'm not gonna use pluralize. I'm gonna use just regular here. And I'm going to, uh, this is the first, the first thing. So we're gonna just call this uh, regular audio. And then what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna click here and we're gonna click there. Oh, I didn't mean to uh, duplicate that. We're gonna click there, click here, and then um, we want to hit uh, merge clips and then I'm just gonna hit merge clips audio audio and I know this is another tutorial but hey and let's see once it processes it and it's gonna merge the clips and then make the audio sound lovely so that's a quick tutorial remember MTS files you want to just make sure you import them um, copy the entire folder when it says private and you should be just fine there any questions you can leave in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If not, community can always help you out.